Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the basic modeling process of this Pompidou maze in France. And we're going to use Rhino and Grasshopper to make this. First of all, I want you to come over to Sub-D tools and then I will select this Sub-D plan. And uh, I will create a plan, something like this. I'll select it and then I'll come over here, click subdivide sub d and then i'll do it again right the next thing i will do is i will move it up to the ear i'll select selection filter faces i'll select those panels for example and then move it up and right here i'll move things down a little bit Okay, again, this is just a example showing the workflow, not exactly the modeling process for that specific project. Okay, and then I will select, for example, this one, this one, and this one. I will extrude them by using the combo. Okay, and then I will type in set PT. Click Z only, hit OK, and uh, hit it here. Okay, if I think this is just in generally too short, I can select all the surfaces right here and move them up. Otherwise, this is fine. And then if I hit tab, this will be what it looks like. So if I hit tab again, go back to the previous mode, I'll select all the surfaces right here and just delete all of them and then hit tab again. Okay, this is what it looks like. Then the next thing I will do is I will go to Grasshopper. Just type in Grasshopper, give it a second to load. And then I will come over to Vector. There is this hexagonal shape, select it. I will change the size. Let's make it like 12. I'll go to the top view. And then I'll give more amounts on both X and the uh, Y direction. So, good. And then I'll click selection filter, select this, move it up, make sure that it's all covered by this hexagonal shapes on the top view. And then I will change the size a little bit, make it a little bit smaller and then change the count. I'll select the surface, type in two nerves, hit enter. By using all the default selections, hit enter and okay. And then I will select this surface, like poly surface, go to standard, come over here to isolate object. Okay, so we basically hide the sub D. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll select the surface, go to parameters, select wrap, right click it, Select one wrap, hide this. We will get this left over in our scene. Then the next thing I will do is I will come over to explode, hit enter, bring the explode in. So we explode this external cells into its own segments, right? Each of those external shapes will have six curves in its own group or its own nested list. And then I will just come over to curve. I'll choose point on curve, bring it in. And then I will hide everything else. I get a bunch of curves like this. All I have to do is I will come over to polyline, bring it in, right click it, set Boolean to true, and then we will get this. The next thing is very, very simple. All I have to do is I will just type in project and uh, select this one, select all the curves, and select the wrap. Give it a second and we will get this. I'll hide everything else and this is our structure. Okay, you can work on this by adding a tube or all kind of like structure, All right, This is basically the pattern for this whole project. And you can move this up and down as certain logic so you can create this kind of thickness for the whole structure because the structure has layers. Some of the pieces are lower than the rest of it. 
right, based on the directionality, so on and so forth. So that's it. That is the basic logic behind this project. Thank you so much and looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.